Now to an incredible case of giving, one even the medical experts in New Hampshire marvel at. It all started 10 years ago when a father donated his kidney. Exactly one month ago, his daughter did the same thing for the same patient. Tonight, our Gene Mackin sat down with all three of them, counting their blessings. Kind of changes your perspective on things, and certainly we're, we're probably pretty close. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, in some ways, this is one big happy family. Both dad and daughter donated one of their kidneys to Jamie, 10 years apart. They've been such an important part of my life. I feel like I'm part of their family. Um, it just, it was amazing uh, to know two people so close to me are able to, to save my life. Ten years ago, Jamie was suffering from a kidney disease called FSGS. When she needed a transplant, she didn't have to look far for her donor. The father of her longtime friend volunteered to be tested. We ended up being a match, and off we went. The transplant was a success, but after 10 years, the disease attacked Doug's donated kidney. So daughter Bridget followed in her father's footsteps, surprising Jamie with the news written on a cake, we are a match. I saw how he was and how well he did, and I mean, I saw my friend need in need, and you know, I would do it. On December 8th, the longtime friends made the second transplant a success at Dartmouth Hitchcock Medical Center. And a new treatment prevents the disease from coming back again. These living donors say they're living proof that giving the gift of life makes everyone's lives better. It's just something that I, I can never thank them enough for. You, it's just, I feel so blessed. In Manchester, Jean Mackin, WMUR News 9.